Hey everybody, Jason here. Welcome to the first episode of Saturday Sessions. So I've got a bunch of things to talk to you about today. The first thing, most important thing, is I got a new camera. I got a new camera. New camera. Okay, so I'm still dealing with buyer's remorse, but the GH4 that I've been filming on for the past couple years was definitely nearing the end of its day. I'm filming on it right now. I've done a bit of repair work, but really I didn't want to invest too much into getting the camera repaired when it really was time for me to upgrade. So hopefully you'll see there's an improvement in my video quality now. So right now I'm shooting on the old GH4 in 4K at 24 millimeters. Let's swap them out and see what the new GH5 looks like. Okay, so now this is the Panasonic GH5. So the frame is going to be set up pretty much the same. Uh, but the benefit is that I've also got this new lens, which is eight to 18 millimeters. Now it's a micro four thirds system. So that's equivalent to 16 to 36 millimeters. So we're at the old lens and the old camera would shoot here, go that much wider. I think that's gonna make a big difference when shooting outdoors and landscape environments. Okay, so yeah, super happy, new equipment, always good, definitely a little bit of buyer's remorse lingering around, but you know, this is a part of what I do, not just for YouTube, but my livelihood is in media creation, so important to stay up with the times and obviously have working equipment. I want to touch base on one thing though. It's super easy to get caught up in buying new equipment as a YouTuber. And I'm gonna say, you don't need to. I started off with a cheap camera and a lot of people do. Image quality is important, but you can get good image quality from, well, even cell phones these days. Yeah, don't get caught up in the gear trap. Okay, so the next thing that I should really talk to you about is what is this Saturday session thing? Saturday sessions is a time when I can just get the camera out, work on my camera skills, my audio, my editing, and then share that with you. Flexing my creative muscle and, you know, hopefully forcing me to improve as a creator. Basically, forcing myself to do other projects outside of the travel and bushcraft related topics that I do. Okay, so now the real topic for today, ignore other people. That said, let's go try this new camera out. So you know, I think that everyone defines success differently. And I tend to believe that as long as I'm doing what I enjoy and doing the best that I can at it, then that's success for me. But it's not always just that easy. And I think there's a lot more to it. It's also freezing out here, so I'm gonna get inside, have a coffee.
Okay, so success. Success has so many different elements to it. You know, we want our financial success. We want happiness. You know, we want freedom. It's different from person to person. Years ago, I had a karate teacher. You know, I was, uh, I was in grade nine, and uh, this guy, Gary Cole, would pick me up from my house, you know, in his Trans Am, drive me out to his karate dojo, and would chat all the way there, and then he'd drive me home at the end of the class. Sensei Cole told me, and it's kind of stuck, sometimes I've wondered if it was good advice to give a young kid or not, but I think there's value to it. But Sensei Cole told me, don't do it for the money. I think what he was talking about is focus on doing what you enjoy doing, get the benefit out of, you know, whatever that might be for me, film, video, photography, get the benefit out of it that is, that it makes you happy. When you get caught up in making money, needing to make money, I think it takes away the value of happiness. So of course, from time to time, we're gonna look at what other people are doing. We're gonna talk to other people. We're gonna tell them what we're doing. People are gonna critique us. You know, we're gonna get the haters. We're gonna get the lovers. That's all great. And we should check in with other people from time to time as well. I think that when we do check in with other people, we can gain the value of inspiration, especially when they're successful. On the other side of that, I think that we need to avoid what other people are doing because we don't want to see how they're doing things to be successful and then tailor what we're doing to try to replicate that. I think that's not a good thing. I remember when I was interviewing the Canadian sprint canoe kayak athletes. Now these guys are Olympic athletes, you know, at the top of their game. And I asked how they prepare for a competition. and all of them were just focused on their own game. They were just trying to do the best that they possibly could, achieve their fastest speeds, do the best technique in their paddle strokes, and hopefully do a little bit better than the last time. So there's all kinds of reasons why we shouldn't pay attention to what other people are doing. I'm gonna tell you something. Regardless of what your goal is, whether you're doing YouTube videos, whether you're a painter or a sculptor or, you know, an auto mechanic, whatever it is that you do, that that's your passion, you can't expect anybody else to share that passion with you. And so it's really easy to sometimes fall into, I don't know, like a, a sense of disappointment when you talk about your passion and you just don't get that level of excitement that you would hope to get from just your everyday person. People aren't gonna understand why you do it. They're not gonna understand why you invest time and money and you know just so much work time into whatever it is that you love. If you're lucky, you'll have one or two people that stand by your side and share that experience with you, but you can't expect to have a huge audience cheering you on and appreciating what your thing is as much as you love it. Okay, so all of this said, ignore other people. It sounds harsh, hey? Don't ignore other people. But the point is, don't be focused on what other people think, what other people say, and what other people do. Just be focused on what you're doing and working towards achieving your goals. For me, Every time I grab the camera, every time I sit down to edit, I want to be able to do the best that I can. And it's a slow process to just slowly get better. But over time, and if you check out some of my earlier videos, I can tell you I'm getting better. And for me, that's reward enough. So don't block people out of your life. Don't force yourself to not watch other YouTube videos. You know, that's not what I'm saying. Focus on what you're doing. Love what you're doing. Try not to do it for the money or, you know, the audience that cheers you on. Do it for yourself. Find those little moments in whatever you're doing that make you happy and that's success. Anyhow, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.